Hey guys, we're just going to do a quick video on, I'm going to 3D print one of the gears for the lathe and I figured I'd do a, a how-to on, well, basically how I do it. So, I use FreeCAD, it's a free uh, CAD program. You have to put an add-on in it, which is also free, called, uh, it's, it's a gear one. Uh, in this drop-down menu here, you click that on the bottom, there's gear. You choose whichever gear you want, or we want an involute gear, and it automatically brings up a, a gear. And then you input what you want for information. Now, uh, if you've been following along, you know I want a 36 tooth gear as one of them so you know we're gonna put 36 teeth that will automatically bring up you know 36 teeth now we're also gonna want to change the, the module the gear that I'm making is not metric it's inch so it's it has a diametral pitch not module so this has to be converted now I don't know the formula for that, but there is a website that I use and it's called engineersedge.com. Basically this chart uh, converts for you. Now again, I don't know the accuracy of this. I don't know how well it is, but I've used it before with luck. So, you know, kind of use this at your own risk. Uh, but here is the Dimetro Pitch 16 gear that we're looking for. And here's the module 1.588. So we go back to the FreeCAD. And under module, we put in 1. Point, sorry, I'm trying to look through my phone and doing this, and it's actually quite interesting. 1.588 millimeter. Okay, so now that should technically be the same as uh, 16 diametral pitch. Now we have to change the thickness of the gear, uh, which is the height. It's at 5 millimeters now. We're going to put that at, let's say, 16. That's a good thickness. Uh, Alright, so... We have our gear. Now we need a hole in it for the shaft, which is 5 8. So up top where we selected gear, we're going to go to part. We're going to collect, uh, click on cylinder, and that should automatically put it in the center of your gear. So you don't have to mess around with it too much. So click cylinder. So we're focusing on that now. Go to the radius of the cylinder. Now again this program is in metric so you have to make sure you either convert it or let it convert it for you. Uh, we want 5 eighths which we know is 0.625 inches but this is radius so radius is half of the diameter so you put in the divide by 2 and you put in the inch insignia and that should not work hold on let's uh, do that one more time uh, point six Two, five divided by two inches. Okay, I didn't hit the space bar for the inch mark. Seven point nine four uh, hole diameter. Now you can check that if you click on your calculator. You know, point six two five is your the hole you want. You want to multiply that by 25.4 for metric conversion. 
that gives you the diameter and you want the radius which is half so divide that by two and that will give you 7.9375 so they just round it up which is fine um, so this is correct now what we want to do is make the cylinder as wide or, or as thick as the gear is uh, which again is the height we're going to change that to 20 this is nothing more than for making a hole so this doesn't matter we're just going to make it extend past the gear that's all all right click the gear because that's what we're keeping you hold down the control button and then you click I'm going to try and do this all at the same time here while holding the phone hold down the control button and click the circle you come up here and this right here makes a cut of the two shapes you click that and it will get rid of the shape that you just put into your gear so essentially we just cut out a 5 8 hole in the middle of our gear um, now our gear is keyed I think I think it is it's downstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it but you know what this is just cheap plastic I'm not worried about it I can I can file this uh, keyway if I need to so I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it now we have to save this as an STL file for the printer so come over here you want to click well first of all you want to save your work let's say you want to do Logan gear save okay now file you want to export it's already set to STL and just say give it a name gear 36 to the desktop save alright so now we have this saved to the desktop Okay, find your gear on your desktop, the file you just put there, double click it, and that should take you to your 3D printing program. I use Cura, uh, but whatever you use, it's, you know, your thing. And here's your gear. This is the gear we just made in FreeCAD. Very quickly, nice and easy. Um, now I'm going to adjust this for 100% infill density and a bunch of other things, but that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on basically how I make a gear for 3D printing. But not just that, if you want to uh, use this program, uh, FreeCAD, it's a great program to use for... Uh, for making stuff let's see for instance you know let's say you want to double check something uh, diameter or uh, bear with me I'm still trying to learn gear terminology like addendum dedendum apex whatever but if you wanted to measure any of this stuff you can zoom in use your ruler and you, you can actually get measurements off of this now so we know that's 1.54 millimeters if you want to measure up here up here if you want to do a diameter again it's very easy to do and it's very easy to get uh, dimensions this way so we've got 60.30 millimeter now 
we can double check that because I know that the gear is supposed to be uh, approximately two and three eighths, give or take. Uh, oops. So we do 60.3 divided by 25.4, and that will give us 2.374. And two and three eighths is 2.375. So, you can't get any closer than that. So, this is basically dead on. So, any measurements that you want to make, you can get off of this program just by, you know, throwing it on here and trying to figure, figure it out. One of the reasons I was going to do this a, a while back was to try to make a cutter, my own custom cutters for these gears. Uh... I'm just going to try to get this profile off of the program and basically instead of having to buy the cutter to get the profile or have to do some crazy mathematical uh, formulas you just input the gear you want and it brings it up for you and it, it you know just makes it that much simpler but uh, alright guys I'm going to send this to my 3D printer and hopefully tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, however long this takes, I will have uh, a working gear for my lathe. Thank you, uh, John. Uh, I think this was a great idea, and I really hope that uh, this works. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.